Ever wonder how smart a squirrel would be if we could measure its intelligence on a scale from 1 to 100? Ready to feel bad about how smart a pigeon can be? Probably not. But now that I've planted that thought in your head, let's dive into the animal intelligence spectrum. First up, we've got the amoeba, nature's definition of a blob. This single-celled organism just floats around, eats whatever it bumps into, and calls it a day. No brain, no nerves, just pure vibes. On the intelligence scale, a solid one, the biological equivalent of someone arguing the Earth is flat. And honestly, they're not even classified as animals. We only added the amoeba because we wanted something at the bottom of the list. But let's get a little more organized. Ants are like the civil engineers of the bug world, building intricate societies with tunnels, nurseries, and food storage systems. These tiny military units score eight on the scale, way more organized than your average Monday morning routine. They're so united and organized that just the thought of them being any smarter is one of the most terrifying ideas ever. Then we've got honeybees, the Einsteins of the insect world. These guys can count, communicate through dance, and learn new tricks. With a score of 10, they prove that a good groove and teamwork can get you pretty far. Despite their reputation for painful stings, honeybees are among the most important animals in our ecosystems due to their crucial role in pollination. In fact, some argue that without honeybees, many plants, and by extension humans, would struggle to survive as they pollinate a third of the world's food crops. Emus, okay, they're fast, but they're not winning any IQ contests. Running at 50 kilometers per hour is great, but when it comes to problem solving, emus are more run in circles when stressed than strategic thinkers. They score a 15, a little higher than insects, but they're not cracking any codes. Emus were once involved in the infamous Emu War in Australia in 1932, where the military tried and failed to control the emu population with machine guns because they were invading farmland. Turns out, the emus were too fast and organized for the soldiers, making it one of the most bizarre military defeats ever. Then there are cats, the stealthy strategists. They're not as eager to please as dogs, but they've got their own smarts. Cats can follow human gestures, recognize their names, and solve puzzles when they feel like it. With a score of 40, they're independent thinkers, mostly using their intelligence to get us to feed them. And don't worry, I'll be making a whole video just about them, and of course, about dogs in the future. There's just too much to cover with these two. Next up, lemurs. Adorable, but not exactly rocket scientists. With a score of 45, they've got decent social and learning skills, but they're more likely to do something silly right after a clever move. For example, male lemurs try to stink flirt with females by rubbing smelly secretions from their wrists into their fur and blowing the scent toward potential mates. Oh, and let's not forget, they also chew on millipedes to get high while using the toxins to protect themselves from parasites. It's a party and pest control, all in one. Octopuses are the true escape artists. These guys can unscrew lids, open jars, and even sneak out of tanks just to mess with aquarium staff. Scientists are fascinated by their problem-solving abilities, which include navigating mazes and remembering solutions. With a score of 60, they've got brains. No bones, but brains. Some people even speculate that octopuses might have come from another planet because of their bizarre features, like their ability to camouflage and their complex nervous system. While it's a fun idea, it's highly speculative and not backed by solid evidence. Now, Crows and African Grey Parrots, the puzzle masters of the bird world. Crows score 65 for their tool-using, face-remembering abilities. If you've ever wronged a crow, just know it's holding a grudge for years, and it might even tell its friends about you. They've been observed holding funerals, gathering around their dead to assess danger and mourn, and they can live up to 100 years in captivity, making them one of the longest living bird species. But here's something even wilder. Crows have been seen teaming up with wolves. They fly above, spotting prey, and lead wolves to the target. After the wolves take it down, crows feast on the leftovers. It's like a mutual agreement of convenience. The crow's aerial view and the wolves' hunting skills combine into a perfect partnership. And African gray parrots? They're the masters of speech mimicry, understanding context, 
and forming basic sentences. These parrots don't just repeat words, they actually understand the meaning behind them. In fact, Alex, the famous African gray parrot studied by Dr. Irene Pepperberg, could count, identify colors, shapes, and even express emotions like frustration. With a score of 70, they could probably order Uber Eats if they had thumbs, and they'd get the order right too. African Greys also have remarkable memory and cognitive skills, showing problem-solving abilities similar to those of a five-year-old human child. And now, the strategic masterminds of the ocean, orcas. These guys hunt in teams, create waves to knock seals off ice flows, and communicate with their own family-specific dialects. With a score of 75, they could probably pull off a successful heist if they weren't busy ruling the seas. But here's where it gets even crazier. Orcas have been documented hunting great white sharks. In South Africa, a pair of orcas were observed systematically taking down great whites by targeting their livers, which are rich in nutrients. One orca even managed to incapacitate and kill a great white shark in just two minutes. As the apex predators of the ocean, not even great whites stand a chance when orcas decide to move in. Their ability to outsmart and dominate even the fiercest predators makes them the undisputed rulers of the seas. Bottlenose dolphins. They're social, highly intelligent, and can recognize themselves in mirrors. But dolphins are also like the mobsters of the sea. They form alliances to control access to mates, sometimes engaging in aggressive behaviors, and they've been seen using pufferfish to get a little high. Yep, dolphins know how to have a good time. They also engage in sexual activities just for pleasure. With a score of 80, dolphins are masters of communication and teamwork, making them some of the smartest creatures in the ocean and maybe the most fun at sea parties. Orangutans, the inventors of the jungle. They craft tools, build nests, and adapt to their surroundings with ease. With a score of 85, they're the innovators of the primate world. In parts of Borneo, orangutans have even been observed using spears to fish, a behavior believed to be learned from watching local humans. Some speculate that this could be the early stages of development similar to the way humans evolved 200,000 years ago, but that's still up for debate. Some people even joke that they play like animals just to avoid paying taxes. Honestly, not the worst strategy. And then there's chimpanzees, the tool-using champs. Chimps are renowned for their advanced problem-solving and social intelligence. They can fish for termites with sticks and crack open nuts with sharpened stones. But chimps are also known for their revenge behavior, often attacking other groups in violent raids that can be chillingly strategic. Researchers have even documented chimpanzee wars, where entire rival groups were wiped out over territory disputes. They don't just attack outsiders either, Chimps have been known to bully and even murder members of their own group if they lose social status. One very human trait, chimps use hand gestures to communicate and beg for food, similar to how human beggars might, and they've even been observed laughing when being tickled, just like us. With a score of 90, they're just a step below humans. And honestly, if the whole Planet of the Apes scenario ever goes down, you might want to stay on their good side. Chimps don't mess around. Finally, we reach humans, sitting at the top with a solid 100. We've achieved some impressive feats, like sending telescopes and other equipment into space and inventing the internet, but we've also come up with reality TV and anti-vaccine movements. So while we've done some incredible things, we've also managed to spread stupidity. It's a bit of a mixed bag. We're unique in our ability to use language, build complex tools, and shape the world though sometimes we seem to be doing it just to mess with ourselves. Oh, and let's not forget the occasional genius. Einstein cracked the code of the universe, and Terence Tao is solving equations most of us can't even pronounce. But then, there are also those who think robbing a bank with a banana in their pocket is a good idea. Orcas could probably plan better. If you've got any wild ideas or thoughts about the smartest or not so smart animals we covered today, drop them in the comments. And hey, if you're curious about what might happen if insects had the intelligence of chimps, that could be a fun topic for a future video. Let me know if you're interested in exploring that idea. Also, if you wanna see a part two of this video, just let me know. Until next time.